good morning. My name is Taryn Berhanna. I am a lecturer here um, in the, the Kent State University College of Nursing. And on behalf of all of us, um, I'd like to congratulate you on being admitted into the sequence <laughs> and welcome you to our fall 2024 BSN white coat ceremony. So the nursing profession has a long, rich history steeped in tradition. And today, we're celebrating the white coat ceremony. So while it's not new to the medical community, it is relatively new to nursing. So as you continue your educational journey, you are beginning your journey into becoming a nurse. And this is the day, I can assure you, that your life begins to change. This is the day that you commit to growing into the professional nurse that you aspire to be for the rest of your career. There are many rights and privileges that are associated with being a nurse. And there is also great responsibility, as you probably already know. So today, you're going to take a pledge to uphold the tenets of the nursing profession through IE CARES. That is integrity, excellence, compassion, collaboration, altruism, respect, resilience, empathy, and service. So I just want, to, want you to take a second to look around to see a, a few of our faculty are here and leadership, and you'll see them in the halls saying hi. We are, we are nice and approachable, I hope you have found so far. Because we're, we're all here to teach and to support you. We want to celebrate your wins and, and we want to assist you with all of the challenges that you're going to face. I wish you all of the best. I can't wait to see everything that, that you're going to contribute to our, our profession, both as a student and at the bedside in the future. Okay? So please welcome our very own Kent State University College of Nursing Dean, Dr. Versi Johnson Mallard, who's going to guide you through the remainder of this ceremony. Thank you, Professor Buchanan. The white, so the white coat ceremony is the oldest and most well-known program of the Gold Foundation. The Honor P. Gold Foundation established the white coat ceremony in 1993. And this happened at the Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons. This was a way to emphasize humanism in medicine at, a very, at the very start of the medical education. In 2014, recognizing the vital role nurses play in the healthcare, as in the healthcare team, the Gold Foundation partnered with the American Association of College of Nursing to adapt this ceremony for nursing. While it may take on different forms, the rite of passage emphasizes the importance of humanistic patient care defined again, as Dr. Buchanan said, as compassion, collaboration, scientific excellence, and health care. This occurs early in nursing training and professional identity formation. With that said, I would like to welcome a proud nurse an alum of Kent State University to the podium, Miss Grace Titus. Thank you. Ooh, okay, this is nerve wracking for me. I'm just gonna admit right here, but I'm gonna do my best. Um, hi everyone, my name is Grace. I am a recent graduate of the Kent State Nursing Program. Um, I went through the four year BSN as you're all beginning to do. Um, and I graduated in December of 2022. I want to start by congratulating you all on completing your first semester of the program. I remember how nerve-wracking that was and how nerve-wracking it is to start clinical, but I'm very excited for you guys, and I know you're going to kill it. Um, the white coat is more than just a piece of clothing you're going to wear with your uniform. It really is a symbol of the nursing profession that you will be wearing on your back. 
You will be wearing the responsibility, trust, and dedication to your patients every time you put it on. Let it be a reminder of how far you've come and how far you've yet to come. Professor Bixler invited me today um, to speak to you so you could hear from someone who sat in these exact seats less than two years ago. That being said, I'm not here to lecture you. I'm no, I know you're going to have plenty of those to come. Um, instead, I'm here to try to calm your nerves, give you a little bit of advice, and encourage you to reach your full potential as future nurses. This semester, you will be stepping into the hospital, many of you for the first time, and starting to put all that classroom knowledge that you've gained so far into practice. I know it can feel intimidating to walk into a patient's room for the first time, or do a skill that you've only ever practiced on a mannequin, but my first piece of advice to you is to embrace it. Jump in, be eager to learn, be the first to volunteer, especially if you've never done it before. I'll start by giving you an example. Uh, one morning during my very first clinical, our instructor informed us that one patient on the unit needed a flu shot. Bad idea to announce to a group of hungry nursing students. We played rock, paper, scissors right there at the nurse's station at 6.30 in the morning, tournament style, to see which one of us would be able to give our first IM injection. I hope that's the kind of student you all will be. I want you to embrace it and fight each other for that first IM injection. At this point in your life, I'm sure you all know, but you are in charge of your own learning, and it is up to you what you take out of your clinical experiences. I believe that you all walked in with the compassion and empathy that it takes to be a nurse, but now it is time to learn the science and the technical skills that also is required to be a nurse. That brings me to my next piece of advice, ask questions. I know you've all heard instructors and professors say, you know, there's no dumb questions, and if you have a question, I'm sure someone else in this room is thinking the same thing, but it really is true. I also don't want to be a spoiler, but there will probably be a meme somewhere down the road in one of your lectures that says, the only thing between your patient and their grave is you. Now, it's not meant to scare you, um, maybe a little bit, but it's to remind you of the gravity of our profession and to remind you that there will be times where it is you that's holding the patient's life in your hands. That is why I want you to take this time to try to learn everything you can and just ask that question because you don't want there to be a time where you might have needed that knowledge. This will also be the case when you graduate. I ask questions every single day. I believe it is better to feel dumb for a second than to try to guess and put either your patient's life or your license at risk. I hope you can trust the advice that I'm giving you today. While I don't have years of experience under my belt, I do think I have gained um, an understanding of what it means to be a good nurse already. Um, my grandfather was recently hospitalized. He's okay. But I was there with him in the emergency room while he was admitted to the hospital. And then I've spent time with him after since he's been home. And I've gotten to listen to his perspective of what it was like to be a patient and how ha, hear his opinions on all the nurses. And it's really um, put nursing into perspective for me. Spending that much time with him in the hospital um, it reminded me, it gave me the ability to see what it's like to be a patient, to be the family member. After that weekend, I went back to work with a renewed attitude. I found myself slowing down, spending more time with each patient, and not only making sure they were physically taken care of, but also comfortable, as comfortable as they could be in the hospital. That experience with my grandfather helped me see the patients as not only the people that the diagnosis that they came with, but the whole person as a whole. It reminded me that every patient is a grandfather, a son, a mother to someone. I've only been a nurse for a year and a half now, but it was already easy for me to lose sight of the compassion that I went into nursing with. It's easy to get caught up in the work and forget about the human beings that you're taking care of. 
This will become your everyday routine, but for your patients, it could be their worst, their worst day. So I want you to try to think of something. If it hasn't happened to you yet, it probably will. Try to think of something that you can hold on to, as I do now, that will keep you grounded and remind you that this is more than just a job. As you are becoming a nurse, remember that this title, you should be proud of it, and you should try to live up to it every single day. I know it can be scary to put yourself out there, to ask those questions, to challenge yourself, but I also want you to remember that there are plenty of people rooting for you, even in this room alone. All of your professors are here to help you succeed. They want you to become the nurse that you aspire to be. Your peers, they're all going through the same thing, so try to lean on each other and help each other grow um, professionally and personally. And I believe in you, and I'm very excited to see the difference that you will make and the lives that you will impact, which will start today. Congratulations again. Thank you for letting me be a part of this day, which represents your readiness to enter the clinical environment and your commitment to yourself and your patients. And here's to a bright future in healthcare filled with learning, personal growth, and making a mean meaningful impact. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Young scholars, I hope Ms. Titus' remarks have inspired you and caused you to reflect on the impact you will make in the lives of so many people for whom you will care. So many times you will be that person between the grave and them surviving. Refresh yourself each and every day, as Ms. Titus said, every single 12 hour shift is a brand new day that you have not seen before. I got chill bumps, I got physical chill bumps thinking about that important message. Thank you so much for that truth, for our truth. It is now time to put on your white coat in this part of our ceremony Okay, so with that said, everyone please stand. Okay, I now welcome you to put on your white coats. each other starting today. There you go. Excellent. Okay. So please remain standing as Professor Sarah Bixler comes forward to present to you the pledge. Please read with me. As a nurse dedicated to providing the highest quality care and service, I solemnly pledge that I will consider the welfare and humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns, act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner in all aspects of my care, apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability and assure optimal outcomes for my patients. Exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements. Accept lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. Promote, advocate for, and strive to protect the health, safety, and rights of the patient. With this pledge, I accept the duties and responsibilities that embody the nursing profession. I take this oath voluntarily and full realization of the responsibility 
with which I am entrusted by the public. Thanks for Professor Bixler. So at this point, it is customary for healthcare workers to receive a blessing of the hands. So please hold your hands in front of you. So we'll all take this moment to honor, protect, and enlighten the care and comfort that these hands will provide to the scared and the sick. These hands will deliver compassion and respect for the people and families in your care. You may never understand all the ways that your hands can heal, but your patience, including Grace's grandfather and my mother, will. Being a nurse is a privilege and a gift to humanity. You can be seated, students. Okay, so now you will receive the pin given to you by the College of Nursing faculty on behalf of the Gold Foundation. This pin will be a visual reminder of the pledge you made today. If you have a challenging experience at clinical or find yourself questioning why, why you chose this path, look at this pin and remember what you pledged today to care for your patients with compassion, dignity, respect, and empathy. I believe in you, and so do all of your professors. We know that you will go out and serve in the great Kent State University College of Nursing tradition, a tradition of those who have come before you. You are our legacy. We look forward to celebrating all of your future accomplishments at your work, at becoming a BSN prepared nurse. Congratulations on this happy occasion. <laughs> 